Hi guys, my name is Courtney and welcome back to my channel. Things have been a little crazy in the world, but one thing that has been really great and has brought me a lot of relief is anime. So today I'm going to be talking about all the anime I watched in winter 2020 that is a part of the winter 2020 season. So I watched some other anime but I'm not going to talk about them. Today we're only going to be discussing the new releases, what I ended up watching, what I ended up enjoying. So I've listed everything from my lowest rated series to my highest rated series. So we'll be starting at the bottom and you know getting to the good stuff. So at the beginning of this season I was planning on doing a fun episode where basically I watched the first episode of every new released anime that wasn't part of a series that was like 38 anime I ended up scrapping the video because the footage was just like not good and like it was just all over the place it just it was not a good video what happened is is that I did end up watching the first episode of like all 38 new anime or whatever it was all the things that weren't like continuations I watched every single one of those I watched the first episode of every single new anime so I really got a taste for everything that w happened this season I will say that was like a really fun thing to do. It was a lot of work. It was a lot, but I ended up watching shows that I never would have normally picked up, and actually some of them ended up being some of my highest rated series, whereas some of the series that I was interested in, and I won't even be talking about because I only watched the first episode and ended up not liking it. So basically all the anime that are not on this list are animes that I have watched, I have tried, but I ended up not watching them or dropping them. There is one exception. So Somarito Mori no Kami-sama is an anime I do plan on watching. I watched the first episode, I enjoyed it, and I do plan on watching the rest of the episodes. I just didn't keep up with the series, I didn't catch up, but it has been one that's caught my eye. So let's get into the anime I did end up watching. I'm making this video a couple weeks early so nothing is finished out. So like hopefully none of these get ruined in the last episode, which recently happened for two series for me where the last episode kind of like changed my mind on the whole series. But anyway, let's get into these animes. So the first anime I have and my lowest rated anime is number 24. This is a sports anime following a rugby team. I really enjoy sports animes but I am am very particular about the ones I like to watch. I personally do not like fan service -y type shows like this. They're very pandering and they're not for me. I'm going to be giving this a 4 out of 10. I think I have two episodes left which have not come out yet. This is just easily the worst show I watched. It's just very garish, very fan service -y. The art style is just really clashy to me. Very colorful and bright but like not in a good way. Just like in a very garish way. And the reason why I continued to watch this, why I kept watching it, is for the main character. He's just very interesting to me and he honestly just deserves a better show. The main character of this show was a rugby star, had a serious injury where he cannot play rugby anymore and is now a manager for the team. And he has a very interesting personality. He seems like a happy-go-lucky, very normal protagonist, but he has like this very dark, evil, conniving side, which I really, really love. His his personality is just hilarious and it like just does not fit with his character or his image so I'm watching the show for him just for him because he is funny and hilarious and he just he deserves a better show but yeah overall I would not recommend this show it's not a good sports anime in my opinion if you want to watch a show that's more fan servicey like this I would say freeze definitely a lot better of a show so the next show I have on here is Oshiga Budokan Ite Kure Tara Shinu, which is something about like, if my idol went to Budokan, I would die, something along those lines. So I'm giving this show a 5 out of 10 as of now. I think I've watched 10 out of the 12 episodes, as that is what is out again. This show is following a 20-something year old who basically falls in love with this idol group, this one particular idol who is not very popular, and it's basically about her and her friends and kind of the trials and tribulations of like being a super stan for like an underground idol group. I think the premise is very interesting and some moments can be very funny but a lot of moments are just very cringy and just like a little over the top and I really really dislike the main character a lot. She is just really annoying and I just I just I can't with her. The reason why I continue to watch this show is like it's very pretty like the art style is nice I think it's a very pretty show and it's a good distraction like it's not a good show but like it can be funny it's you know nice to just watch it sometimes and just like let your brain turn off and the one thing I do really like is I do like the character that the love interest is in love with she's very cute I also really like this side lesbian couple that it's not fan servicey there is a little bit of like Yuri fan servicey but the 
two characters like are pretty much in a relationship and it's pretty heavily hinted that they are in a relationship and they're very cute i just i like them they are very cute i wouldn't necessarily recommend this show but i don't think it's the worst one i watched it's a lot more cringy than funny i would say the next show i have on here is oh hausu kisho richard chi no nazo nazo kanate which i'm giving a six out of ten this show is about a young college kid who meets this jewelry person. He owns like a jewelry gems shop and they like solve little mysteries together about gems and stuff. I think the show is fine to like pass the time with, but like it's not anything great. The writing of the show isn't great. The animation style isn't, I would say it's a very like middle of the road kind of show. I think the reason why I don't like this show as much as I was hoping to is that it can be very dramatic at times where a lot of times I'm just like, okay, you know, calm down please. And it's very, very baby. Like I feel like it's trying to like kind of play into the idea that Richard and Seiji, the main characters, are like romantically in love with each other, but then it'll kind of backpedal and like do things to like show you that they are not interested, especially Richard, that he's not interested in a male partner. It's weird because it's like very baby and they do have like LGBT characters, although they're never clearly stated as LGBT. There is a woman who is in love with another woman and there is a woman who seems to be on the arrow a spectrum. As far as like an actual romance between the main characters, it's very baby. I don't think it's going to happen in the end of this show. Maybe I'll be proved wrong. My kind of feeling of watching these first 10 episodes is that nothing is going to happen in the next two episodes. It might be like kind of a baity fan surfacey ending, but I don't think they're gonna get together like that you know the together. So like if you need a good anime to pass the time that's just, you know, kind of an easy show to watch, I think this is a good pick, but yeah, it's not anything spectacular. The next show I have on here is Ite no wa inya nano de bo yoku ni Kofuri shitai to omanimasu. The title means something along the lines of I didn't want to die in this dungeon so I kept building up my defense. Something along those lines. This is one of the shows that I normally would never watch. I'm not really into game type animes. I'm definitely not into like these cutesy style animes but I'm giving this a 6 out of 10. I ended up really really enjoying it for the most part. It's you know a very escapist kind of show. It's very fun to watch. The main character is very funny. It's basically about this main character who's going into her first virtual reality game and it's like Sword Art Online where it's like you go into the virtual reality as like a physical presence kind of thing. This is the first time our character's ever gotten to play one before and she just builds up her defense and she's like this super monster demon lady and she kind of accidentally becomes very very strong because of her dumb choices in this game and so yeah I found it surprisingly fun. I will say that I think the first episode was the funniest. There were some episodes like in the middle that I just didn't think were as funny or were kind of boring compared to like some of the other episodes and it does get repetitive very fast but for the most part it's an enjoyable show. I had a fun time watching it. It was something I normally wouldn't pick up so I'm glad I got to pick it up and I'm glad I get to finish it but it's not like my new favorite show. The next show I have on here is Runway de Warete. I have watched nine out of the 12 episodes that have come out. I need to watch the next one. I am also giving this a six out of ten. Again, I think this show is a fun show to pass the time with. I do think the characters are a little bit dramatic and over the top. Like it's just, it's a lot sometimes. <laughs> They're yelling at each other a lot. This show is about a young man at who wants to be a fashion designer and a young girl who wants to be a model. They're both not in positions where the opportunities are presenting themselves and so it's kind of their journey to becoming their dreams. And so it's a fun slice of life but it can be a little over the top. The next shows I have are all going to be shows that I would recommend. Everything is an 8 out of 10 or higher. So this is getting into the shows that I really enjoyed. The shows I decided to continue to watch I would say are all very like meh shows like they're not that great or they're like some of my favorite things that I've watched in a long time. And it's very funny because I would say all the shows that I felt very meh about were all shows that were just not very unique or different. They fell flat in artistic style or story, whereas all the anime that I ended up really, really loving are all very different. And I would say some of my favorite shows are all shows that have a very distinct aesthetic, like they're very different in their art style or their storytelling. I would say some of the new shows that are on this list 
that are my new favorites that are shows that I really really enjoyed are just very unique and have a very specific like aesthetic and that's what I really loved about them so yeah let's get into these shows so the next show I have is Drifting Dragons which I gave an 8 out of 10 this is like a slice of life but it's in a fantasy world I would say that's the best way to describe it it's following a crew of people that hunt dragons kind of think of whalers and like whaling that's what it kind of reminds me of but they're like on a sky ship in the air with dragons instead of whales but i found this show to be really relaxing and fun it's got a little bit of adventure obviously but it is more of a slice of life which is what i really enjoy i loved all the characters they were so fun and funny i've been seeing really poor reviews of this i think it's because it's a cgi based show but i also think it's because people don't understand what they're getting into with the show they think it's going to be like an action adventure shonen and it's definitely not it's very relaxing with a hint of like danger in there but yeah i love drift dragons I think more people should give it a chance I kind of want to read the manga because I've just enjoyed it so much and as far as I know this is owned by Netflix so I don't know if that only means that it's coming out in Japan on Netflix but I am hoping in the future that it also comes out in America on Netflix because I think this show should get a little more hype I really enjoyed it the next show I have on here is Chihaya Fudu which I'm giving a 9 out of 10 Chihaya Fudu is a staple on my channel I've been reviewing it since October when it came out with the beginning of this season Chihaya Fudu is my show it's like one of my top 10 favorite animes of all time it's just it's good. It's a sports anime following a high school girl and like her friends and she plays this Japanese sport called karata where it's about card memorization but also hitting the card as fast as possible when a poem is read. It's complicated. <laughs> Trying to explain Karaka is weird, but anyway, I love this show. It's one of my favorite animes, one of my favorite sports animes. Definitely recommend it. But since I talk about it a lot, let's get into the next anime. So the next anime I have on here is Toilet Bound Hanakokun or Jibaku Shonen Hanakokun. This is a show that I normally would never pick up because I'm not a big shonen person, but to me, this was a big surprise. I gave this a 9 out of 10. This is one of those shows that has a very specific aesthetic style. It kind of has this like colorful chibi kind of look to it but it also is like this dark like horror -y kind of feel to it as well just with like the art style and the storytelling it's kind of like these clashing things but it works so well together i love the art style i love all the characters i love the story it feels very shoujo -y high school slice of life but it also like has these really dark elements coming in and like this story as it progresses is just getting better and better the show is so fun to watch and i love the characters and just like everything i i really love this show and i was not expecting to i highly recommend this one it's very very good. The next show I have on here is Doro Hen Doro, which I gave a 9 out of 10. Again, this is a big surprise show for me. I typically do not watch horror or gore type shows. I will watch one occasionally, but this is very much like a show I normally would never even think to pick up, but I guess I like horror. I guess I'm very good with it because I love this show. Again, it has a very distinct, unique aesthetic style. It is a CGI or CGI based show but like the world and everything it's just it's a lot but it's great. Let's try and explain this show. So our main character Kaima has a lizard head. It's a magician turned his head into a lizard head and he's trying to find this person that did that to him so he can go back to his normal form and basically in this world there are magic users from this other dimension kind of thing that connects to the human world which is called the whole magicians and humans do not get along with each other they kind of fight against each other magicians do experimenting on humans and humans kill magicians so it's like that kind of a world but i love all the characters the women are so kick ass and like buff and just like thick and I love mm. Nikaido and Noi are like some of the best female characters I've seen in a really really long time and they're just so yeah the characters are lovable the show is funny surprisingly very dark funny but it's funny and just like the world and everything that's going on is just so intriguing and fun and honestly I really love this show like it's just really good I'm gonna continue watching it again this is owned by Netflix I believe so I'm hoping it'll, you know, come out on Netflix here in the US too. So the next show I have on here is Haikyuu to the Top. This is the fourth season of Haikyuu and it's just, it's so good. Oh, 
It's so good. Every episode just makes me so happy. I watched the 10th episode last night and I was just like, so, so good. So Haikyuu is the volleyball anime. Like, if you've seen volleyball anime boys, it's from this anime. It's one of my favorite sports anime of all time. It's just, it's so, so good. I love all the characters. There's like 60 plus characters. I still love them all. It's the pinnacle of what a sports anime should be. It's just so good. And then my final show and my favorite show of the season, which is of course Keep Your Hands Off Ezoken or Ezoken ni wa te wo das una. This is easily a 10 out of 10 series. Like, I don't have to watch the final episode to know that this is going to be a 10 out of 10. So while some of these shows might you know, dip or rise because of their final episodes. This one is not going to change. It's a 10 out of 10. It's, it's just such a good show. And it's a lot of other people's favorite shows, so I'm sure you've heard about it. It's about these three girls who make an anime club and they decide to make anime together and kind of their like journeys to do that. It's definitely the best show I watched this year. It's just hella good. It's creative. It's so imaginative and whimsical, but the world is so beautiful and rich. I've already rewatched some of the episodes, like that's how good it is. Ezoken is a show that I was very much anticipating and I'm so glad it ended up being everything that I wanted it to be. But yeah, for the most part, this season has been about trying new things. It's about finding new things that I've ended up enjoying that are not normally in my wheelhouse. Last year was really about watching stuff that I really enjoyed that I knew I was going to enjoy. I was very particular about the animes that I watched and I ended up really enjoying everything that I watched. And this year was about trying new stuff and I ended up finding a lot of new series and a lot of new stuff because of that. And I feel like this anime season has just been, at least for the top animes, has been like a breath of fresh air because everything is so different and specific. I would say a lot of the shows I dropped are shows that either I just didn't like because of the genre or whatever, but a lot of them are just shows that felt very stereotypical or just like very boring. The shows that I kept watching felt different and they felt like they were trying to do something. And I just, I really appreciate the craft of some of these really good series. So those are the anime I've been watching for winter 2020. Let me know what you've been watching in the comments down below. I'd love to know, especially if you're watching a show that I have dropped and you think it's worth a watch, if you think it gets better, let me know. And if you're not watching any of these shows that I've been giving eights, nines, tens out of tens, definitely recommend you try them out. They're pretty great. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later and happy watching.